transform the following boolean functions into max term and min term notation here two boolean functions are given we have to convert this into max term notation and min term notation let me consider the first one so here we have f of w x y z is equal to we have w bar plus x we have y plus z converting of converting this into max term notation is nothing but standard canonical pos form so in standard canonical pos pos form is each sum term consists of all four variables here we can observe that the first term consists of two variable w bar and x y and z are missing so in this case y and z variables are present but w and x are missing we need to add those two variables in these sum terms let me simplify this so here the missing variables are y and z i can add y and z as w bar plus x plus i can write y y bar plus z z bar because y by y bar is nothing but zero z z bar is equal to zero similarly for this term i can write i can add w and x as this is y plus z plus i can write w w bar plus x x bar so we know the distributive law that is a plus b c can be written as a plus b and a plus c that is a plus b a plus c so similarly here now i can assume that the first two terms as a next two term is b c bar so i can write a plus z a plus z bar or i can write it as this entire term as a that is nothing but w bar plus x plus y y bar that is a plus b c b c means b is z c is nothing but z bar that is plus z so in another bracket i will consider z bar that is w bar plus x plus y y bar plus z bar so similarly here also i will apply distributive law as so this first three terms is equivalent to a next two terms are equivalent to b and c a plus b a plus c i can write it as y plus z plus w w bar plus x in next term is y plus z plus w w bar plus x bar so we have simplified this further here we can observe that in each term there is again y y bar again i will try to simplify this and i will again apply a plus b c that is distributive law so in this case w bar x plus z is nothing but a here y y bar is nothing but b c so i can apply again a plus b plus a plus c i can simplify this as that is i can write f equal to this will be w bar plus x plus z plus y similarly in another bracket w bar plus x plus z plus y bar similarly i will like again apply distributive law here i can write it as w bar plus x plus z bar plus y and one more time i will write and there i will consider y bar that is w bar plus x plus z bar plus y bar similarly i will apply here distributive law that is y plus z plus x plus w similarly y plus z plus x plus w bar similarly for this i can write it as this is y plus z plus x bar plus w and another term is y plus z plus x bar plus w bar so now i will write this in order that is f is equal to i will write in order as w x y z that is this can be written as w bar plus x plus y plus z 
this will be w bar plus x plus y bar plus z here it will be w bar plus x plus y plus z bar that is w bar plus x plus y bar plus z bar this can be written as w plus x plus y plus z this will be w bar plus x plus y plus z this will be w plus x bar plus y plus z finally we have w bar plus x bar plus y plus z now we'll try to convert this into max term notation that is here we can observe that w bar in max term notation the normal variable for example w will be written as 0 w bar will be written as 1 so here w bar means it is 1 this will be 0 0 this will be 0 so here i can write w bar means it is 1 this will be 0 this will be 1 this will be 0 so here it will be 1 0 0 1 this will be 1 0 1 1 this will be w x w plus x plus y plus z is nothing but all are 0 0 0 0 0 so here it will be 1 0 0 0 here it will be 0 1 0 0 here it will be 1 1 0 0 so now let me write the max term notation that is f is equal to phi m max term will be represented like this here the variables are it is 1 0 0 0 means 8 it is 8 1 0 1 0 means 10 1 0 0 1 means 9 1 0 1 1 means 11 0 0 0 0 means 0 1 0 0 0 already we have considered 1 0 0 0 we no need to write again 0 1 0 0 that is 4 then we have 1 1 0 0 that is 12 let me write in ascending order i can write f is equal to phi m we have 0 4 here we have 8 9 10 11 12 this is max term notation for the given boolean expression so now let me consider the mean term mean term notation this is the function that is f of pqr is equal to pq bar plus pr let me write that is f of pqr is equal to pq bar plus pr so to represent it is in sop form sum of product form we have to convert this into standard canonical sop form that is nothing but in standard sop form each product term consists of all variables here variable r is missing we should try to add r here in this product term q is missing we should add q let me tell you how to add it that is i can write p q bar here variable r is missing i can write it as r plus r bar because we know that a plus a bar is always equal to 1 therefore r plus r bar is nothing but 1 which is nothing but p q bar itself plus this can be written as p r q is missing here i can write q plus q bar let me simplify that is i can write p q bar r plus p q bar r bar plus here i can write p r q plus p r q bar let me write in order that is i can write p q bar r plus p q bar r bar plus p q r plus p q bar r now i can i will try to represent it in notation so here 
P Q bar R in min term P will be equal to 1 P bar will be equal to 0 likewise for all other variables so here it is 1 0 1 it is 1 0 0 this will be 1 1 1 this will be 1 0 1 or I can write in notation as so min term notation can be represented as summation m small m so this is 5 this is 4 this is 7 this is 5 or I can write in ascending order as so here 5 is 4 5 is 2 times we should write only once that is 4 5 7 so this is the mean term notation for the given boolean function thank you for watching